I hate to think of that poor misfit being hunted down like a dog. You know, I simply can't bring myself to believe in that vampire theory. Uh, will you pour, Ruth? Certainly. I know, Carl. Our saner, calmer judgment tells us that such things can't be, and yet, here, for instance, in this ponderous tome, are cited a thousand and one phobias and complexes that human beings are heir to. Some of them are strange, more untenable even than werewolves and vampires. Uh, could I have some more, please? You drink entirely too much coffee. That's well, my one weakness. And also my excuse for tolerating Georgiana's laxity and other things. She does know how to make good coffee. Thank you. She brings it to me every night at exactly 10 o'clock. And when I've drunk it all, then I know it's time to quit. Yes, and eat breakfast so you can have more coffee. Oh. <laughs> Georgiana, you mustn't lie like that. You'll get yourself a tart of coolers. Same two wounds, Doctor. And my last words to her were angry ones. A petulant reprimand for being late with my coffee. What time is that? About two or three minutes after ten. She's been dead then about 45 minutes. Hmm. Bloodless like the rest. It passes all belief. Ruth's aunt saw Herman Glybe in the garden this morning. Could it be that he... You were the first one here. What happened? I was in my room reading. My door was open. I must have dozed off for a minute or so because I awoke to hear Frau Schnappmann scream. You say your door was open? Yes, my room is very poorly ventilated. And you saw nothing? Heard nothing unusual? Nothing. Carl, what is it? This crucifix belonged to Martha. See who it is, Emil. Can you positively identify this as belonging to Martha? Without a doubt. I saw it in her room the night she died. How in the world did it get here? Herman Gleib was in her room. He had that crucifix in his hands. And Herman was here today. Maybe here now, for all we know. She's had a real shock this time, but she'll be all right. I'm putting her to bed. Leave her there. Don't let her out of this room. And don't you leave it either. Well, what do you mean? It looks as if Herman Glybe is the killer after all. It's possible he may be hiding here in the castle. Well, what makes you think so? I'll tell you later. Stay in your room and keep your door locked. Don't worry about that. I heard every word you said. And I don't think there's any use for them searching for Herman. They should look for a dog, a human-faced dog. Andy, the doors and windows are all locked. There's nothing to be afraid of now. Well, who said I was afraid? I'm not a bit afraid. No, of course you're not afraid, but you must get some rest. Rest in this awful place? With dog-faced Hermans and human-faced bats and blood and murders and vampires. 